video I would like to show you how I created this project now if I click on the input field and click enter it should focus on the next input field now I'm tired now I'm you can see it's in the next input field I'm entering now it's in the next input field I'm entering now it's in the next input field you can see you can check on the console as well if I type and enter it's getting focused on the next input field that's what I have created today in this project with the help of HTML CSS and JavaScript I have left the source code in the description uh, this is a basic header and we have a form and the form has an on pre and default method name phone email and password are the field uh, on each input field I have added a class called registration form I'm getting all the registration form class with the help of query selector all and I would like to display and uh, it will be in the form of node list and we know it's in the norm when it's in the form of node list or in the HTML collection we can use the uh, for loop to access them individually now it's in the node list to access them individually I have run the for loop and uh, to access individual input field I need to pass the index number so let me console it and pass the index number to it I I will be 0 till the length of the input field left so we have 4 we can access them individually now once we get access now we can now once we access them individually I would I have added the listener event listener key up to each input field so whenever I type on the input field I will get the value of it with the help of e.target.value just to show you I have added the key up listener to the input field gets in get inserted value in input field fine now if I test it I should see the value on the console and it is working now once we get the value uh, I would like to convert the value into the ASCII code so each alphabet has an ASCII code in the HTML so we'll get the ASCII code of it so if I type A it will be 65 if I type B it will be 66 and so on and same way if I type enter it will be 13 so just to show you I am going to type A and it will be the ASCII code 65 if I type B and it would be 66 and as I said each of them has unique ASCII code assigned to them now if I type enter we will get the ASCII code of 13 so if the ASCII code is 13 what we need to do is we need to find we need to do the DOM traversing so let's check whether we have clicked on the input enter, enter or not just to make it let's make the console uh, let me show it on a console if you clicked on the enter so like if I click on the enter you will see the console message as you entered you s enter button click the same way after that once I find its enter button I'm going to do the DOM traversing that means from this current input field I'm going to get the parent element so current input field the parent element is form group and from the form group I would like to get the next form group so if I see if I type enter I will get the form group of the current input field and to get the form group of the next input field I would like I would be adding the property called next element sibling from form group to next element sibling and once the next element once the form group I get of the next element sibling I would find the input field of the next element sibling fine now if you see it is the current it is the next element sibling and uh, inside the next element field sibling I would like to find the input field so again the query selector input field and we need to focus that's all for this video thank you so much for listening